guys welcome to my youtube channel so on this video i'm going to talk about um first order of differential equation that is we're going to get with differential equation from standard form and general and particular solution first uh for first order yeah that first order so this is actually this tutorial under calculus and please if this is your first time watching my youtube channel please subscribe for more wonderful videos and share please thank you all my subscribers for making me attend 700 subscribers thank you very much but the journey is not yet over so please if you're watching my video for first time or second time or third time and you're not subscribed please do so by checking the subscription button and subscribing thank you very much so let's go on with the tutorial which, which is the first order differential equation so now one may add what is first order differential equation with first order differential equation is an equation containing all the so it's an equation containing only first order. When we take our first order, as in our previous my previous video, we talk about the order. It means that is how many times an equation can be differentiated. So a function when the function is given to you, how many times can it be differentiated? That will give you the order. But here the first order it means that it means that you can differentiate it only once. That is what you are dealing with. The first order means that you can differentiate it only once. So we have some Ways we can represent first order you know that that is the function x y so this is the differential equation it means that this can be differentiated only one which is equal to zero so it must contain x and y with a first order equation which is means that that function has been differentiated only once so this also can be represented by this and so these are the two ways you can present them so it means that the function must contain a differentiable equation that that is a differentiable function which is only done by first that is the first derivative the first derivative are you getting it that is the first order differential equation so what we're going to talk about now here is everything we're going to do here is under first order differential equation so let's uh, give some examples so as you can see that is y prime minus 5 x equal to 0 as in this is a first order differential equation because it contains the differentiable that is the first derivative with respect to y so now we have something called the standard form in uh, first order differential equation so let's talk about the standard form now when you talk about the standard form of the differential equation as in the say that do this in a standard form this simply means simple it's very simple let's see how that by taking an example so for example we have this uh, equation differential equation and they ask us to leave it in the standard form what you must do is that you try making the first derivative the subject that's the y dx the subject that is standard form so when they ask you to do it in the standard form you try making y prime the subject so let's try and make y prime the subject so what will you do here you can divide through by uh, e exponent x so when you divide through by e exponent x you're going to get so you divide through by e exponent x that is y prime is equal to sine x over e exponent x minus 2 exponent 2x y over e exponent x so it means that we are trying to make the first derivative that is the first order the subject that is the y prime the subject and when you do that correctly you're going to subtract you know that in this x this will come up and make a negative and subtraction that is here and i think there will be y here yeah and there will be y here so when you do that correctly this is what you get so in the standard form when they ask you to do it in a standard form, what you need to do is that you are just making the y ds the subject. That is the y prime, the subject, that is it. So in a standard form, that's what you are trying to make. So any question that is in first order differential equation and they ask you to leave it in the standard form, you try making the y prime the subject. So you can change the y dx into y prime and make it the subject. So now we have another way which is called a differential form. So there are two, the standard form and the differential form. So let's look at the differential form. So the differential form must be read that the right side of the y prime f y that f the function x y can be written as a quotient of two functions. So the function is m x y and negative x y. So I'm going to explain how this thing about. So when you do it, you're trying to make sure that you make the equation or the function or the differential equation in this form. How did you get this formula? Okay, now this is equivalent to this. So they try making the y as the subject from this equation. And you arrive at this so when a differential equation is given to you as this you try making 
divide the x the subject and when you make it the subject you should get something like m into bracket x y that's the function of m and the function of x but one must be negated either the up or the down yes yeah, so the m is for the dx as you can see the m is for the dx and the n is for the dy i get in it yes so now let's do something here let's take an example and see so we are supposed to make this in a differential form the first impression you must do is that you are trying to make this in a differential form you are trying to make dy ds the subject so that it will be in a form of this so when you do that correctly you're going to multiply through by one over dx so ds will cancel the x here and leaving it so when you do that correctly, it means that you're going to get dy over dx so when you do that correctly you're going to get this dy over dx is equal to this because from the previous one from the previous one when you check here from here when you check it that means you're going to uh divide through by you're going to divide through by it you can send this one here or you divide through by it and when you divide through by it you're going to get this yeah, because you are going to divide through by it when you divide through you can get something like this yes and i think this will be negated it will be negating here so this will be negated so if this is negated it will be in the form of uh, this as in when you divide through by this one to make the y the x the subject standard you will send you can send this one here and you divide and that will be negated that's why i put the negative sign on top so it will be negated now so when you do Please, you can try this um, this one to find it in the differential equation form and please comment in the section that's it you put your answer in the comment section so that we can discuss okay so the next one is uh, the general and the particular solution of first order now we have solution and general particular of first order and it comes in two ways we have the method of separation and the reduction of separable variables so the method of separation as in it's it's kind of uh, you need to have these rules in your head so let's take an example and see. So we are going to use the method of separation to solve this equation. The method of separation is simply one, you must make sure that the y goes with the dy and the x goes with the dx. As in, we saw it in our first, uh, my previous slide that, or uh, my previous tutorial that, um, you see, from the uh, differential equation, as you know that m into bracket, m the function must go to negative n the function. So, you must make sure that the x goes with the dx and the y goes with the y because I said it in previously. So let's do something. What you need to do is now here is you try to make any way, any possible way so that the x will go to x and the y go to the y. So first, the multiply through by dx. When you multiply through by dx, this will take care of this. So when that take care of that, you're going to get a form of like this. But our intention is to make sure that s goes with the x and y goes with what? dy. So how can you do it again? The next thing to do is that you're going to divide through by 1 over x plus 1. When you divide through by 1 over x plus 1, this is going to cancel this. So when it's cancelled, in a correct way, you're going to have something like dy is equal to y squared plus 1 dx x over x plus 1. But you're trying to make sure that dy goes with dy. The y goes with y and the x goes with x. So you're going to multiply through by that's you divide through by y squared plus one. So when you divide through by y squared plus one, I think this is gonna take care of this. And when you do that correctly, you're gonna get something like this. So now the y is moving with the y and x is moving with the x. That is the method of separation. You must make sure that the x goes with the x and y goes with the y. Anything you do. So when you do this, the next step for you to do is now you integrate. You're going to integrate the equation. So you integrate the equation. You can decide to bring this one to be equal to zero. So you're going to integrate the equation. The next step, you integrate. So you find the integral of this dy, you find the integral of the dx. So when you do that correctly, so when you do that correctly, the answer will be provided with the integration as in you should learn your integral. Like you go back and learn very well with your integral because with differential equation it evolves a lot as in method of equation you make sure that the y goes with y the x goes with the x and after you find the integral so when you find the integral correctly you're going to get the tan inverse of y plus c is equal to x minus ln x plus one c so all of them they have c this can be c1 c2 and this can be c1 
So if C1, C2 is a constant, so at the end, you can decide to make it very nice by sending this one here plus C. This C is a constant, so this how it can be C1. When you add it to C2, you're going to get a big C. So at the end, the result will be tan inverse of Y minus X plus ln X plus 1 plus C. So that is this, that is for the uh, separation of uh, variables. So you must make sure that the X goes to X, the Y goes to Y. After you are done, you find the integral of the equation. Thank you very much. Now we have another one which is called the equation with homogeneous coefficient. That is a, using the reduction of super world variables. So with that, what you need to do is, um, you see, you cannot, uh, there are certain questions that you cannot use separation of variables to do. So that one use what? Reduction of what? Separable variables. Yes. So with the reduction of separable variables, it only applies to homogeneous coefficient. When you talk about homogeneous coefficient, let's explain. The homogeneous coefficient means that they have the same degree. As I talked about my previous video on degree, so please, if you don't watch my previous video, you can go and watch it. The degree is uh, the power of the higher derivative. So, and you know that the higher derivative in the first order is one. So you try to what, find the degree. If the degree are the same for both sides, then you use the homogeneous coefficient. So the homogeneous coefficient, there are rules you must follow. That is, you are going to use to solve the homogeneous square the equation, you must use uh, substitution. Yes, with the substitution, I said when you use the substitution and you try using the same way, finding for x and y, making bad with this one, you're going to replace y with x bin. You're going to replace y with x bin. And when you differentiate this the product rule, it means that you're going to get dy over dx is equal to x dividing over dx plus bin. Because you take one and differentiate, you hold one and differentiate. Are you getting this? So now, when you do that correctly, it means I'm going to get this. So you can, in the question, even if it's homogeneous coefficient, you're going to replace the y with x bin. And anyway, you see the y over the x, you can, you can replace it with x, and that's x dividing over the x plus bin. And wherever you see the y, you can make the y the subject, you're going to replace it by this. So when you place it by the now, you solve it in the normal way using the uh, separation of uh, variables. That you solve it in the normal way. But with this, you are going to you are trying to eliminate y out. You are removing y out. So you are, it's going to deal with dv and dx. So you remove y out. You are going to be left with dv and dx. And you solve it in the way the same way that's moving v to one side with dv and moving x with one side with dx. After when you are done, you integrate. When you integrate, you know that. From this equation, when you try to make me the subject, V will be equal to what? That V will be equal to Y over X. So when you finish with the uh, integration, you replacing wherever you see V, you replacing with Y over X. Yes, so that is the uh, equation with the homogeneous coefficient. That's a reduction. Yes. So with the reduction, what you need to do, you are using substitution. Since it cannot be used, you cannot use the equation of uh, variables directly. You must use substitution. Wherever you see why you put in x mean, wherever you see the y over the x, you put in x dv over the x plus b. Wherever you see the y, you put in that. So when you do that, it's, it's actually, when you do that now, you use the same principle in the separation of what? Variables. That is, you you are trying to make the x go to the x side and the v move to the v side. And after you find the integral, when you are done, now you put in the integral that's when you are done with the integral and you see and wherever you see if you put in y over x this is a thing by here yes thank you very much for watching my video please if if not subscribe please check the subscription button and subscribe for more videos uh yes and thank you for all my subscribers thank you very much thank you